Welcome to Wild Wednesday. We'll feature an animal like no otter. It's utterly hilarious. <laughs> yes. We've got Jamie Quirk with the Natural Encounters Keeper at the Houston Zoo live to introduce us to the Asian small clawed otters. Oh. Are these freshwater guys? Good morning. Yes, they are freshwater. They are found in um, the rivers in Southeast Asia, the Philippines, Malaysia, um, and Indonesia. Oh, and they're so cute, I have to say. Now, I understand that they're the smallest of the otter species. Can you tell us about them, their names, what's their relation to, the, to other types of otters? Sure. So they are the smallest of the 13 otter species. Um, our two are named Dantu and Athena. So Athena is right here at the front, and she's heading over to check out some enrichment. Um, and Dantu's in the back also looking for some fish inside those enrichment items that we have set up. Um, they're really great with their hands. They have Their feet are semi-webbed, so they have really great dexterity. Um, so as you can see, Dantu right here is digging through this ice treat to get the mm -hmm. fish that we hid in there out. And Athena is up at the top also playing with a little puzzle toy, trying to get some fish out. How fun. So it doesn't look like they're bothered by the cold weather then. Um, their, uh, their exhibit is indoors, so they're found inside the Natural Encounters building here at the uh, Houston Zoo, so they don't really have to worry about the elements too nice. much. Oh, no. And the, the, what about the fur? It just seems like the water just probably bounces off of it, right? Is it actually waterproof? Nope. So they will collect little air pockets in their fur, and uh -huh. that helps them to stay warm um, under the water. And then when they get out, it helps them dry and stay warm as well. Uh, what else do they like to do during the day? What, what do visitors usually see them doing? Um, they're super playful. So if you come to the zoo and see one of them juggling, it's typically our male, Dantu. He has a little stash pile of pebbles that he's hidden from us that we can't get to that he likes to take out and juggle with. And Athena over who's in the water over there, she usually likes to get the zoomies and she tries to get Dantu to come run and play with her. Uh, or if they're not playing, they're typically snuggled up together in their log sleeping. Aww. It's so fun to see how active they are. How important is it to make it a little bit of a challenge for them to get those snacks versus just having it right there easy for them to grab? That's a good question. So they are super smart, so we do like to give them a lot of things that are going to mentally challenge them. And in their natural environment, they obviously wouldn't just have food tossed to them. So mm -hmm. we try and keep it as natural as we can here. Obviously, they don't get ice treats, but they will dig through a lot of substrate to find mollusks and crustaceans, and they'll find their food inside the water. So this is going to help them mimic their natural behaviors um, and keep them mentally and physically sharp. Now, do you ever get, uh, how close in the habitat do the zookeepers get to them? Because I imagine they have pretty sharp claws, pretty sharp teeth, but is there any other training that goes on with, with you and them? Yes, so we are um, protected contacts, so we don't go in with them, um, but all of our training is done through a barrier. Um, but we have been able to successfully train a lot of medical procedures with them. They'll do um, injections um, and things like that, so those are, we remove the stress from all of those scary medical procedures, um, and they willingly work with us. They're super motivated, um, and we have really good relationships with them, but we do keep a protected contact to keep us all safe. <laughs> I love the teamwork they had going on. Okay, as we wrap up, just quickly tell us <laughs> where we can find them if we come to the zoo. So you can find them in the Natural Encounters building right across from the old sea lion exhibit if you come to the Houston Zoo. Perfect. Oh, they are a couple of the most fun <laughs> animals to watch. you got to show up right when they get one of those enrichment yes. treats because you'll be glued to their cage, yes. I think. All right. Thank you so much for joining us from the Houston Zoo. We'll see you on the next Thank Wild you. Wednesday.